Hello and welcome back to Shakes here. Now it's the martini. I misspoke yesterday. It was not the martini. Today is the martini, the last shot of um, Julius Caesar. We get to hear from Marcus Brutus in Act 5, Scene 5. And yesterday we heard from him in the act, end of Act 5, Scene 3, where he, um, he said goodbye to his friend Cassius, who had his servant kill him. Um, yeah, so things were not looking good for Brutus and Cassius' side of things in the war that they were fighting versus Octavius Caesar and Antony. So Cassius had himself killed because he couldn't do it himself. So he had one of his guys hold his sword and then he ran on it and, and died. And then um, Titinius killed himself out of grief at the loss of Cassius. And then Brutus comes in and finds them and sort of eulogized Cassius yesterday, saying he was a great man and that he'll mourn him later, but let's go off and keep fighting. So Act 5, Scene 4 is this funny little scene where a few of, of Brutus's fighters, including young Cato and Lucilius, are, they're still fighting Antony's troops, and, Lucy, and they're both shouting like, Brutus, Brutus, I'm Brutus, I'm Brutus, sort of in like a, I'm Spartacus sort of way. Like they're, they're all just fighting on Brutus's side, so they're saying that they are Brutus. But since this is the days before, like Facebook, um, Brutus's soldier or um, the the opposing soldiers don't like Octavius and Antony's soldiers don't realize that this isn't actually Brutus. They they take him at his word and think that they have actually now captured Brutus. Young Cato gets killed, but they capture Lucilius, and they're like, ha ha, we have Brutus, we have Brutus, until Mark Antony comes in and is like, where is he? And Lucilius is like, mwa ha ha ha, Brutus is safe and he's far away from you. And Mark Antony's like, this isn't Brutus. Mwah, mwah. But he is a prisoner worth hanging on to, so let's hang on to him for a little while. So then Act 5, Scene 5, we're somewhere else on the battlefield and Brutus and some of his guys come in. And again, these are guys that we didn't see in the first half of the play and we haven't even really seen very much of in the second half of the play. They're guys like Strato and Volumnius and, and a, few other, a few other characters that oftentimes in productions they'll just like squish into one random soldier type character. But anyway, because there's such small parts. Anyway. So they're all sitting on a hill and Brutus is visibly tired, both spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. He's just tired and he just wants to sit down and rest. And he whispers to Volumnius and asks Volumnius, like, we don't hear this. He whispers to Volumnius and then other people are like, Volumnius, what did he say? Volumnius is like, he wants me to kill him. And um, Brutus is like, yeah, uh, uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna hold my sword or I'm going to give you my sword and you hold it and I'll run on it. And Voluminius is like, that isn't an okay thing to ask your friend to do. So we know that Brutus is just exhausted. He's just done. He's just done with this whole thing, sort of regardless of, of where the war stands. He's, he's just sort of done. Um, and I think it's an interesting path for him to take. You know, he was so tired of everything at the beginning of the play and, and out of sorts and, and out of himself. And then he gets convinced that killing Caesar is the right thing to do. And then he goes to war and he falls out with his friend and he sees all these people that he worked with around him die and all that sort of thing. So he's, he's rightfully exhausted by the end of the play and kind of back to where he started being just exhausted by all of the things. So he, he's making preparations to die on this hill and he's trying to get one of these guys that's sitting there with him to do it. And he says, farewell to you and you and you, Volumnius. Strato, thou hast been all this while asleep. Farewell to thee, to Strato, countrymen. My heart doth joy that yet in all my life I found no man but he was true to me. I shall have glory by this losing day, more than Octavius and Mark Antony. By this vile conquest shall attain unto. So fare you well at once, for Brutus' tongue hath almost ended his life's history. Night hangs upon mine eyes. My bones would rest that have but labored to attain this hour. He's tired. He's just tired. He's just done with all of it, and he he is convinced that his name will go down in history even bigger than Octavius's and Mark Antony's, who he knows now are gonna win 
the battle. And shortly after he finishes saying this, uh, Volumnius and a couple of the other guys leave until it's just Brutus and Strato left there. And he said, you know, Strato, will you hold my sword hilt and let me run on it? And Strato's like, well, give me your hand first. And so they shake hands in, in sort of like a mutual respect thing and Strato holds the sword and Brutus impales himself on it and, and he dies. And as he dies, he sort of pays tribute to Caesar um, and and maybe kind of acknowledges that killing Caesar wasn't the, wasn't entirely necessary or wasn't the best thing or wasn't fair or or something along those lines. He he acknowledges Caesar and sort of makes a comment about like Caesar's revenge on him. So then Mark Antony and Octavius Caesar and Masala come in and they see now that Brutus is dead and they're like, what happened? And um, Strato is like, I I held the sword and he ran on it. And they're like, well, I guess we'll um, we'll take all of his servants and they'll become our servants. And Mark Antony, like props to Mark Antony, he takes a moment to pay tribute to Marcus Brutus and says, you know, he was he was a fine and honorable man, and we will probably not see one like him again. And he fought hard, and he was brave, and he was honorable. And he like he means at this time, he's not poking fun at the word honorable the same way that he had been in the but Brutus is an honorable man speech um but he he says some nice things as a eulogy for Brutus and then Octavius jumps in and is like yeah we'll we'll bury him properly the way that a soldier should be buried and hey let's go party because essentially we just won and then the play ends so that's Julius Caesar for you ta-da um it's it's an interesting play. There's a lot to it, and it's a play that I I feel is often very misunderstood because a lot of people think that it's really about Julius Caesar and his murder. And while that's a very important part of the play, I feel like the play is much more about Brutus and Cassius and and their relationships and how they view the world and the, and the paths that they take and stuff like that. And and the 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 story of what happens when you take down a leader um, and it, and there's all these political overtones of what makes a good leader what may you know how much humility versus how much ambition and all of these sorts of things that that factor into it and again the thing that you spend the first half of the play with some people and the second half of the play with some other people which can leave it's like brutus feeling very isolated and and all that kind of thing it's it's a very interesting play, um, and I know in New York, like last year, or maybe it was the year before that, um, they did Julius Caesar in the park, and they had the part of Caesar very much resemble a president of the United States, and a lot of people got very upset by that com comparison because they thought that it was then going to be a play encouraging people to, to off the president. But the thing about Julius Caesar is, at least one of my big takeaways, killing Caesar was not a good course of action <laughs> in this play. There was, there was legitimate doubt as to whether or not it was a good thing to do in the first place. And then all of the pe and then it created this weird sort of power vacuum and lots of sniping and lots of infighting and all of the people who were involved in his murder end up dying in the end and you know sort of getting their comeuppance so yeah it's it's an interesting play and I would love to hear more of your thoughts on it if there was stuff that that specifically spoke to you or if you have additional questions or stuff like that I'd love to chat you can feel free to leave comments and or subscribe and then you always know when new stuff is coming because tomorrow is new play day. We get into King John, which will be interesting because it's not a play that I know all that well. So I'll be learning it right along with you. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for new play day as we dig into King John. Mwah.